Step 3. How to install a processor. This is an Intel 1156 CPU socket. Gently push the lever handle down and away from the socket and lift upward. This will release the plastic protector. Lift the plastic protector and remove it from the socket. When fitting a processor into the socket, be careful to fit it correctly. To make sure this i3540 processor only fits one way, there are two notches on each side of the processor. There is also a little gold triangle in one corner to indicate that it's pin 1. Make sure pin 1 on the processor is aligned to pin 1 on the socket, and the notch is aligned perfectly. If everything is done correctly the processor will easily fall into place. Close the CPU lever so it covers the processor. Finally close the lever handle by pushing down, then towards the socket, until it locks into position. The next thing to do is to fit the CPU cooler. If you have a retail box processor, it will come with an Intel CPU cooler like this one. It has thermal paste applied on the heatsink, so there is no need to add extra. The cooler has four push pins that fit perfectly into the holes in the motherboard. Place the cooler on top of the holes. Push firmly on top of each push pins. You will hear a click on each one to confirm it's locked into position. Take the CPU cooler power connector and attach it to the 4-pin fan socket. This is a very important step as it powers the fan on top of the heat sink, which keeps the CPU cool. That's the end of step 3.